Well, students in the Bay Area have been back in the classroom for weeks now. Yes, but as Fox 13 photojournalist Mike Hughes shows us, not all classrooms are created equal. My name is Chris Rusnak and welcome to Nature's Classroom. Nature's Classroom is an environmental education center that is a part of the school district of Hillsborough County. We've been here since 1969. When students arrive at Nature's Classroom, we have six activities that they'll go through. And one of those will be taking them into our animal compound, where we show them native Florida animals and teach them about their adaptations and how they fit into their ecosystem. I think we'll have time to bust out our gear and start looking at the water chemistry. So one of them is to go down to the Hillsborough River itself and take them on boats and teach them all about the watershed and how it impacts their lives. And we've been doing teaching them all about the river and, and the place in it for 52 years now. Ooh, look at that little water bug. Here, use the ID sheet. What is it? There's always something to learn out there, always something to see, and we never quite seem to have enough time to get it all in in a day. So all the animals that we have here are here for a purpose. And maybe they were sick or injured, maybe they had been a nuisance animal, maybe they were an endangered animal that needs a home. We have been fortunate enough to have things like Florida black bears for the students to see, bobcat that needed a home, white-tailed deer. Whenever there's an animal available that needs a home and is an animal that they could see and that means something in their lives, we are a sanctuary for them. We'll have things like snakes that the students can hold. We have ferrets, things that maybe are even pets that needed a home, and we'd love to be a home for them. Things like alligators. We have a big American alligator the students can see. Things that are the great creatures that represent Florida. And we have examples that needed shelter, and the students get as up close and personal as is safe for them to see them. Show me how many legs are an insect. Show me with your fingers. It's extremely important to connect students with their environment. It's something that keeps all of us alive. And sometimes that is a thing, a connection that they don't make unless they get out here. It's a fishy. And when they do, it's, it's, you see these light bulbs go off and they're just kind of, they exhibit this joy and wonder that everybody does who goes outside and spends any amount of time in nature. That's a dragonfly nymph. How many species? I hope that students who come to Nature's Classroom build this appreciation for nature, for the beauty of it, for the wonder of it, for what it means to them wherever they live here in Hillsborough County. And we really want them to be guardians of nature, right? We want them to feel like they are a part of nature, not that they have any separation from it. Well, that is really cool. I had no idea we had that here in Hillsborough County. In their three-day hands-on experience at Nature's Classroom, students also hear about the challenges facing the environment, and they learn how the health of the river affects all of us by impacting things like our drinking water.